Logan here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina with Coastal Carolina Yacht Sales. And today I'm excited to show you this 2021 Everglades 273cc bay boat that we just traded in. Gonna go over some basic specs, nice features, and popular options this particular boat has to see if it might be the right boat for you. So let's go ahead, dive on in. So this is a pretty cool boat. Uh, length overall is actually 29 feet and nice wide beam at nine foot three. Of course, Everglades, really well-designed hull, sharp V entry, actually leads back to a 20 degree dead rise. So it's probably really more of a hybrid boat. This has their light gray hull color and underneath the T-top and a custom welded trailer here you're gonna see. We got spare tires. There you can see this trailer is welded exactly to fit this hull. Again, just stepping out, looking at the profile. Really nice looking boat, especially with that uh, radar and outriggers on top. And you can see power pole. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Stepping on back to the power plants, we're going to see twin Yamaha 300 V6 DES engines meaning that they are digital and they're the newer engines because all of our steering is encased right there. These engines are going to push this boat about 57 miles per hour according to uh, performance specs and with the 156 gallon fuel tank it's going to give you about a 280 miles out there range. Starboard we're going to see swim platform does have trim tabs. We'll see underwater lights here too as well. And on port, a nice fiberglass swim step. It has a custom made zipper cover designed to go over the trolling motor, around your outriggers radar, and even tightens at the bottom with the ratchet strap. So as we step on inside, certainly this is a hardcore fishing boat, but we're also gonna see a lot of family friendly features and options as well. First you're going to notice we have two jump seats there on either side of the boat, but with them down, nice casting platform, aft center here, it's going to be a nice little storage unit. And notice how much room back here uh, your engines have to move and operate. This does have a charger system. JL audio stereo system and your raw water hookup. Now, right below here, really cool, easy to open, nice access to our batteries, some of our switches, clean, easy to access bilge as well. Next, we're gonna spin on around take a look at our leaning post of course behind that little nice sink cutting board and then very deep live well and another thing to notice uh, still got plenty of room back here to work and maneuver as you have rods on out and rod storage down here too swinging on up looking at the front side of the leaning post Nice thick cushions with your drop down. Few things to note here on the gunnel. These actually have your cup holder rod holder combo. And we actually have a few of them here on the aft part of the boat. Also these little clips right here, that means it has the gall wings that are gonna go up right here in case you're in some snotty weather to keep you out of that weather. Next, we're gonna take a look at the helm. Beautiful stainless steel steering wheel with suicide knob, twin Garmin screens. Right above that is your Yamaha digital gauge. And this does have joystick with full maneuverability too as well. So this next option I'm gonna show you is really cool and unique on this boat as you don't see many of them out there. But as we're looking here at the helm, see this little string right here? Go ahead, pull it, slide it on up, and we have a top station. 
So now I'm up here at the sport station. Again, nice steering wheel, Garmin. We do have the joystick up here too. Right in front of that, we're gonna find a light bar. Here's gonna be our outriggers. Really nice, comfortable seat for two. And then this does have closed array radar. Taking a look inside the center console. Pretty large, nice and clean head and nice little step on down. Another really cool thing, either side of your center console, you're gonna see this. And again, just a nice little storage area right there. Stepping forward of the center console, uh, first you're gonna notice big, large wraparound seating with the bow filler cushion. Big, wide, double wide seat in front of the center console. Storage down here. Storage here. And notice how that does have plenty of storage for rods as well. And then large in the deck storage too. Now you can imagine with all these cushions out, you're going to have plenty of casting uh, area to work and operate, including right here on top of this seat. This particular one does have a Rodan trolling motor. And then right up here at the bow, we're going to see our through haul windlass. If y'all have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you like the content and have fun out there in the water. Thanks.